With a few days to go before the Conference of Parties on Climate Change, COP28, comes to an end, ministers from all over the world met this morning to review several agenda items of the conference. Green Economy and Environment Minister Collins Nzovu, who spoke as chair of the African Group of Negotiators, raised concerns regarding the low attention the meeting is attaching to climate change adaptation in Africa. We are concerned with the slow progress on adaptation specifically on the global goal on adaptation. We have consistently indicated that a successful COP28 for us must include the adoption of a robust framework on the GGA, complete with targets and indicators to help us track progress in reducing vulnerability, enhancing adaptive capacity, and building resilience. Mr. Zovu also called on the developed countries to fulfill their pledges towards climate change. Meanwhile, reacting to the revision of Zambia's school curriculum, co-chair of the Zambian Parliamentary Caucus on Environment and Climate Change, Tuambo Mutinta, who is also a Tezi member of parliament, applauded government for ensuring that climate change was prioritized. The effects of climate change are being felt by everyone, from the farmers, from the disruption of social services like education and health, from the creation of jobs to the women, and the, all the spheres of life who are feeling the impacts of climate change. Therefore, the intention that has been made that this conversation be embedded in the Zambian curriculum is welcome. And some children who are attending COP28 said including climate change in the curriculum will help children localize the innovative solutions to climate change impacts in their districts. I'm from Zambia district, and Zambia district is annually affected by flash floods. For example, in southern province, we have a very bad problem. Uh, we had droughts. Mary Mwikisa, CNBC News, Dubai, United Arab Emirates.